Hi friends, today we are going to learn something very very interesting. We are going to send email using your Java code. So let's get started without wasting any time ahead. So for sending an email using Java code, you basically need three important things. First one is your SMTP server details. Second one is your Java mail API and third one is Java activation framework that is JAF. What is SMTP? SMTP is simple mail transfer protocol. This is used to link between two different servers for sending an email. Next two are just Java provided APIs which you will use to send email using Java code. In our example, we will use Google. Yes friends, Google has provided you Google SMTP server which is a free SMTP service and this can be used with email authentication using your correct password and then you can use port 465 or 587. These are the two ports that Google has provided us to you use for free. Before going any further, you will need to set up two particular jars. First is JavaX mail.jar jar and second one is activation jar. You can download these two from the link I have put in the description. Just go to the website and just download the jar as simple as it is. Now let's move ahead. So before going forward, what you have to do, you have to configure your build path. So just go to build path, configure build path and then add external jars. Here you can add the both jars that I added. Now let's go and see the code. So this is a very simple code that I have provided guys. After a lot of research, I have written this code. I've taken references from many other websites also. I will put the description of all those websites in my description below. You can go and check out those websites as well. But I think here you are very good to go and you can just go ahead and look for this code. So guys, Stay tuned and watch this video till the end because I will be running this program with a complete explanation and you can do it by yourself. So guys, let's start it. So yeah, here I have my Java class mail.jar and in this class, what I'm going to do, I'm going to set up three different methods so that you, you can easily uh, get the idea of what each method is doing. First method will be setting up server properties second method will be doing just drafting an email and third method will be the main method and this method we will do the sending of the email so guys here i'm just taking my main method i'm just creating one object of my java class and in this main method i'm going to write three different methods and i'm going to call all these three different methods one by one and each method will be doing particular task whatever that method is designated to do Okay, so first method is send mail, second method is draft mail, and third method is set up server properties. So in set up server properties, what I have done, I'm going to add here server properties. So first thing, I'm going to include my port number. Second thing, I'm going to use authentication. That, that is true here, obviously, I have to, since it is a Google, so Google needs authentication and you have to put it as true. And third thing is TLS enabled because guys I'm using 547 port number and 547 requires TLS to be true. The next thing I'm just going to create a new session and then I'm going to take a default get instance method. I'm going to create a new session by using session dot get default instance method. Next I'm going to draft my email since my setup server properties are done i'm moving ahead to my drafting of email so here what i'm going to do i'm going to add the recipients so here you can add as many recipients as of, as much ever you want and then you can just add their gmail ids or any email id in the email recipient section next thing whatever main things usually you have in your email right you will have recipient you will have subject body and all those important things that whatever is required for an email you can just add those things next i'm going to create my mim message mim message is something which is supposed to be sent so email body part uh, the subject of the email, the recipients, everything goes inside the MIM message. And finally, MIM message is something that you will be sending to your email recipients. So here I'm just adding all the recipients that I included above inside my MIM message. I have an error here. So let me check what is the error. Okay, it's asking for internet addresses. So I can't just write it email recipients array over here. I have to turn it into a new internet address. So this is how we can do it. You just have to write new internet address and then put the email recipients inside the bracket of that and then you are good to go. And here just handle those exceptions, address exception and messaging exception. I've just let Eclipse do all this job for me. You know, it's good to use the Eclipse ID. 
then next i'm just going to add my subject to the mem message and what i have to do next next as i said everything inside the mem message needs to be sent so i have added my recipients i have added my subject next i will create the body of the email and then i will add that body inside my mem message as well so three things i will write here and then i will explain you one by one first one you have to create mem message that i already did next part you have to create message body parts that i will be doing now third part is create message multi part i just created a object of message multi part and fourth part fourth thing is finally you have to add all these body parts inside your message multi part okay let's see this by a diagram see this blue box is my mem message and in this mem message i have I have created few uh, small boxes. One is multi part, another is subject, another is recipients. So in main message, I'm basically adding all these smaller things like multi part, subject, and recipients. And then what is multi part here? Multi part will be the various email body parts, like the body of the email, the attachment if you have any. So all these you can add inside the multi part. So this is I'm doing in the code here. Let's see. So now I'm going to create. Mem message body part. So I've just taken object of mem message body part. This class is present in your Java X mail API that you included that you have imported in the beginning. So mem message body part I'm going to create, and then I've created the object of this class, and I'm going to set content. I want my content to be like HTML. So I've just go ahead and write email body and set the content like HTML slash text. So the message that will go that will be sent. Will be in the HTML format. So I have just put multi part object here, and I'm going to add my body part inside this multi part. And finally, multi part I have set inside the mem message. And here, mem message is something that I will be sending to the recipients. So I'm going to return mem message from this method. And here, since the object, the return type of this class was void so it's it was giving me an error so i have changed the return type as mem message as well and then the last method is send method before that i have just uh, taken care of these errors that i was getting and now the send method i'm going to write my send method so let's see how we can draft this send method now so in send email i'm going to set up my mail dot smtp server that will be my gmail server and then i can include my username and password just to go through the authentication of gmail and then finally i will call my transport class and i will use the connect method of transport class and the connect method will be done after you set up the authentication and you don't have to do anything else now just use the connect method and send the email using the connect method so let's see Oh, here's the code for that. Email host will be smtp.gmail.com, as simple as it is. Then transport class, as I told you, transport class. This is how you get the object of a transport class using the new session that you created, and then transport dot. And then transport dot connect will be used. Our uh, transport dot connect you have to enter the three parameters that is email host, your from user, your from password, and from user and pa password here I have just entered PQ or just dummy Gmail I have entered, but you are supposed to enter the right Gmail over here, and then just send the message. Uh, in send message you have to use mem message as I told you many times in this email throughout that mem message is the final thing that you are going to send. So in send message you have to put the mem message, and then you have to enter the recipients whomever you want to send the message finally just close the transport class object and then you are good to go so finally this is how how you can do and how you can send an email using java mail there are other ways also you can use local host also as smtp server but in this particular example i have taken gmail as a uh, smtp server if you're using local host then you might not need to authenticate it also now I will just run this code and the right email ID and the right password that I have actually for my Gmail and here is the result you can see email has been successfully sent. So guys this is how you can send an email in HTML format without any attachment. If you want to learn how you can add attachment in the body part just click on the link here on the screen somewhere I think on the right side and then go ahead and use the same code with a little bit modification in the body part and send the email with the attachment itself 
so guys just click on that link so that you can also know how to send the email using attachment and you have the complete idea of this particular video and this particular example so guys if you like this channel and if you like this video and if you learned something very useful from it please like and subscribe this and also share it and thank you so much for your support take care have a good day bye bye